Nowadays, soldiers are greeted with a warm welcome home by family and friends. In the not so distant past, the reception was different. First Lieutenant says, for those of you that are catching connecting flights out of San Francisco, you might not want to wear your uniforms because they're having protests on there today. At the time, I'm 24 years old. I just got back from Vietnam. I'm happy as a clam. Then to have someone tell me, it's best if you take off your uniform. Uh, I was really offended. That really pissed me off. Stories like Judge Okamoto's were all too common during the Vietnam era. Protests in college and our nation's capital made some soldiers feel like strangers in their own home. There are a crowd there booing, making comments, calling us fascists and warmongers. That was not the reception, the welcome I thought we had earned. Nisei veterans are second generation Japanese Americans and the first born in the States. Many families faced internment during World War II. The Nisei were not allowed to serve in the American Armed Forces until a ban was lifted in 1943. But in spite of previous treatment, many volunteered for the war. After Vietnam, having lost friends and some getting a sour reception, Nisei vets carried more than just external wounds. Four years ago, right here in this building, it was my first time here, and then I met a gentleman, ex-Marine, and we were sharing stories, and in our conversation he said, welcome home. It's like being shot through the heart. I didn't realize I had so much emotional baggage that I was carrying all these years. Teruo Yorita, also a veteran, served on the Nisei Veteran Committee. Soon after Nakamoto joined the organization, his friend, the Marine, passed away. His was the very first case as a veteran service officer that I handled. While public sentiment for soldiers returning from combat is considerably higher than Vietnam, Organizations like the NVC and others raise awareness on the home front that even if you don't support the war, you can support the troops. From Joint Base Lewis-McChord, I'm Army Sergeant Frank Brown.